Nigeria has not had any politician like Peter B for years, rugged man. Popular Nigerian rapper rugged man who is also known as rugged baba. While in a live chat with social media influencer that DeFreeze has described Peter Obi as a rare kind of politician among the politicians Nigeria has been producing over the years. The popular Nigerian rapper made this known while reacting to the news of some prominent Yoruba Nollywood actors giving their huge support to former governor of Lagos State, Asewaju Bola Metinubu, to become the next president of Nigeria. After that, the freeze had faulted some people who criticized the Nollywood act- actors for their actions and made it clear that everyone is free to choose a candidate without being discriminated by another. Rugged man who made his contribution during the live chat session revealed his intention to support the Labour Party, Peter B, with his vote. Ruggedy Baba, who sees Peter B as a sincere, truthful man of integrity, said, Nigeria has not had any politician like Peter B over the years. In a further statement, the popular rapper made it clear that he is not supporting Peter B on tribalism grounds, but because of the qualities of leadership that he possesses. Okay. I don't think... It's kind of surprising in a way. It's a little bit... I mean, yes. You know, Daddy Freeze is right. You cannot... Everyone is free to choose who they want to, <laughs> who they want to vote for. And I guess that's the... What's, uh, let's say, downside of democracy. You cannot force anyone to... You, all you can do is convince. If someone has made their mind that this is who they're going to support, again, you cannot take away free will. And because that is the case, the outcome would always be uncertain. What can you do? Um, and it, in, in a way, it's a bit disrespectful to, you know, ask someone to justify why they choose who they want to. I mean, it doesn't mean you cannot engage in a healthy discussion and, you know, bring out your points and you should show your points as to why you support somebody. I mean, I mean, everyone is free to ask, but I think everyone in their personal ambitions and in a bid to promote who they support would ask other people, so who do you support and why? And I, and I understand how that can be a very touchy discussion because it's like, you know, the audacity for you to want me to prove to you why my candidate is better than yours. Basically, that's where the conversation goes, not necessarily trying to hear anyone out. Because when it comes to th- situations like this, when people have made up their minds, they really have. And you trying to convince them otherwise would lead to problems. Um, I think... Obviously, with the Yoruba actors supporting Tinubu, what can you do again? Tinubu also needs influence. He needs people to support him. And I guess for the Yoruba space, these are influential people that would help with his campaign and, you know, his popularity. So that's 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 pretty much it. Um, There's really nothing else you would say. I mean, I'm kind of... I mean, you, you may find it surprising, though, that, that the freeze would not condemn in my personal opinion i kind of find it a bit contradictory that that refuse would not condemn those that are supporting tunubu anyway because i sort of thought he wasn't a line of reasoning i mean you can never really know people's true support or whatever but you'd think that you'd have the impression that you know that if he's not necessarily support that i mean again i'm not saying you cannot engage in a healthy discussion i'm not saying that you don't have to attack anybody to prove your point but the impression that you'd get from him is you know not necessary to support that um okay so there are several comments first one um states it is not enough to comment and shout obedient but to go and vote massively come 2023 that is true saying all these things ah, does not really matter um fade and failure people are the ones camping for B he has failed already. And again, this is the thing with words. You can't you you can't say these things. It's the actions that will prove it. So you might say yes, so B will win or B will not win. It doesn't matter. All that matters is who shows up to vote, who registers, who shows up on that day and actually votes 
for Peter B. That is literally what that matters. So again, all these words, ah, eh, again, that's why, you know, there is a, a, you know, a point to the opponents of um, Peter B sort of shouting and saying, you know what, he has online supporters. Because as much as, yes, online support does increase popularity internationally and nationally as well, all that matters is the action, you know. You can't just say, 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 say. Because again, with Nigeria, it's like, we know the facts. It's, we, we've always known the facts of any situation. We've known the facts of every situation. We know who's meant to be there, who's not. However, we do not take the action. There are times where we've argued, oh, who this person should be president, da, 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 da. And you know, the educated ones would be like, you know what, there's no point in me voting. But it's like, then don't speak, you know, because it's like you want a certain outcome. You're discussing this certain outcome. You know the fact that could lead to this outcome. Why are you not doing your own little part to change it? Not even your little part, your vote to change it. So it's a thing where, you know, the words are just being flown around right now. And of course, as we're heading into the campaigning um, season or the aspect of your election, this this is basically what we're going to see, right? Um, so depending on how strong your campaign is you know that can obviously t- turn um turn the tables or tip the, the weighing scales like you know that's literally what would happen but yeah all these words they really don't mean anything until we see the actions we don't know everyone is just talking and i guess whoever has the sharper mouth <laughs> would win for this season but then when it's time to vote all those supporting people will be this is the time we have to come out and i think other parties as well because you know Obaski even came out and he was saying how in this mass registration of voting like you know it needs to be curbed like but look at what they're doing um and you know i think if anything because because being honest like the obedient movement are basically the ones who push for mass registration of um getting the voters cards and so because of this mass registration which was triggered by peter b i think People then thought, so you think everyone going to register register the, the PVC? You think they're just Peter B supporters? However, Peter B triggered that, so it may just be a thing where it's like, you know what? Because other um, supporters or other presidential aspirants, another party, um, political party, see the action that their opposition supporters are going to take to get that PVC, they also push their own people to get that PVC, and in that way we can actually have a vote. So whatever actually happens, we will know that, okay, fine. To a very large extent, it wasn't just rigged or like corrupt. We know that, you know what, this is Nigeria's fate and this is what Nigerians chose. And I think it would be better for us to live with that rather than live with potentially not even having the right vote and a random person being in office just because they had the power to. So yeah, put what you think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.